Hey everyone, today I'm going to be showing you a V8 engine that doesn't run on gasoline, but electricity instead. Now a normal gas powered engine works like this. Fuel and air are injected into a cylinder. After the piston compresses the fuel air mixture, the spark ignites it and causes combustion. And this extreme heat from the combustion causes the gases to expand, which pushes the piston down, which turns the crankshaft. And the more piston area you have, the more power you can get. So if you add more pistons, you can get more power. The V8 engine has eight pistons, which gives it a lot of power. Now let's look at our electric V8 engine. Whoa, there it goes. Okay, that is awesome. <laughs> Instead of pistons, we have a permanent magnet that moves in and out of the coils of wire. When a current's applied to the coil, it creates a magnetic field that opposes the permanent magnet and pushes it down. And once it's removed, it turns off the current in that coil, and it only turns back on again once the magnet is back in the coil. These LEDs are indicating when the current is off and on in each coil of wire here. So you can see the permanent magnet getting pushed in and out. This is acting as the piston for each one. And it's turning this crankshaft here. So it's actually being driven by these eight solenoids here. So they're basically little mini electric pistons moving up and down. And it knows when to turn it off and on again due to the induced current that happens in the coil when the magnet's moving back into it. If you've seen a real V8 engine, you might notice something that's off with this one. There are two pistons firing at the same time. In a real combustion engine, you never intentionally fire two pistons at the same time. Notice how each cylinder is firing at different times. And what's cool is that the order that the pistons fire give the engine its telltale sound. For example, this is the pattern of a crossplane V8 engine. The firing order between the left and right sides aren't even, so you get the trademark V8 burble, or kind of a bubbling sound. But this is the pattern of a flat plane V8 engine. It has left and right bursts alternating, so they don't require the hefty counterweights needed in a cross plane engine. So if we can make an electric V8 engine, why don't we just do that for modern electric cars? Well, the reason is that for an internal combustion engine, we're forced to work with pistons that are containing a small explosion. And these pistons are converting linear energy into rotational energy with the crankshaft. This actually makes the engine lose efficiency. Now there are some combustion engines like the Winkel engine that have a more natural rotational motion, but these have their own set of problems as well. But with an electric motor, we don't need pistons. So we don't have to change this linear movement into rotational movement. We can just start with rotational movement. The reason is because, for example, in a direct current motor, the Lorentz force always moves at right angles to the current flow. So it's really easy to get things to spin in a circle. For example, a homopolar motor like this one can be made just by sticking a magnet to the end of a battery with a screw and then flowing current through it. But direct current motors require brushes to continually be rubbing against the part that's spinning. So a better alternative is to use a motor that uses alternating current. For example, a Tesla uses an induction motor. This motor runs on alternating current. The three phases of current pulsing through the coils turn the rotor. So you actually never have to convert any motion here. Also, these engines are smaller and much simpler in how they operate. So there's no reason to actually try to make an electric V8 motor. So I'm afraid we're not gonna see a real electric V8 engine in a vehicle anytime soon. But the main thing that an electric motor lacks is the awesome sound of a real V8 engine. Maybe we need to make our electric motor sound like this. And before we end, I'd like to thank the sponsor for this video, Established Titles. Established Titles is a fun and novel way to preserve the natural woodlands of Scotland while helping global reforestation efforts. The land that they assign you is called a souvenir plot. It doesn't have to be registered and can be sold for commemorative purposes or as a souvenir. Since the title of Lord is not an official title, and since you own these souvenir plots, they refer to their customers as Lords and Ladies. Their title packs give you at least one square foot of dedicated land on a private estate in Eddleston, Scotland and an official certificate with a crest. Your certificate features a unique plot number with which you can see the exact location of your land. 
And they also plant a tree with every order and work with global charities One Tree Planted and Trees for the Future to support global reforestation efforts. These certificates make an amazing last minute gift. Established Titles is actually running a massive sale right now. Plus, if you use the code THEACTIONLAB, you get an additional 10% off. So go to EstablishedTitles.com slash THEACTIONLAB to get your gifts now and help support the channel. Remember, the first 200 people purchasing a title pack using my link will effectively be next to my plot within a few minutes of walking distance. And thanks again for watching another episode of The Action Lab. I hope you enjoyed it. And also you can check out theactionlab.com where I sell Action Lab gear and experiment boxes. And thanks for watching and we'll see you next time.